Hello friends, welcome again to my video tutorial. Today I will like show you that not always uh, you have to spend money for some new equipment uh, or accessories, what it's coming on market and what it's helping sometimes improve your uh, brewing skills or brewing um, method. Um, sometimes you can just look around your home and maybe find something similar but you can replace then before you spend money. Today I will focus, uh, I will show you how you can easily replace uh, Gabi Master from Glow Beans. In general, kind of like a small pot uh, to which you will put water and will help you uh, improve or do more consistent and not too strong agitation uh, with your kettle. Um, it's good as well if you travel and you don't carry with you your um, kettle, you can use um, just a regular kettle or hot water what you will import and uh, through this you can consistently pour water on a coffee bed. You can use the bottom of an um, aeropress together with uh, this filter and put some paper filters and with adding couple of layers of paper filters you can even control this flow of water what will drop on a um, uh, on a coffee bed with uh, usually I use think approx uh, four layers and this way uh, this uh, flow is uh, very consistent and not very strong and maybe if you will put even a couple more you can do something like slow drip uh, we thought uh, this is that you will have to uh, keep this kettle for a long time and um, slowly pouring uh, drop by drop to coffee bed. I will add uh, four paper filters and I will after um, pre wash them and after I will use. Be sure, because therefore it will be a little bit harder to scroll, be sure that it's uh, correct, that the water uh, or it will be not open and water will be not uh, flow one moment all to dripper. I will use 89 uh, degrees of water and uh, this grinding I done uh, fine, not very fine, but fine. Something a little bit uh, more close than for AeroPress. And um, my steps I will see now because after I want to focus on this coffee. Uh, first I will put for blooming 20% of water to this AeroPress tube. I will leave uh, go through. The first I will uh, do regular blooming with 20% of uh, water with the AeroPress tube. After I will add AeroPress tube on uh, top of the uh, like this. Uh, if you have some draper, but it's impossible to put because it's not really flat, you can just hold, you have two hands. And uh, after 45 seconds, uh, when I, it's finished blooming, I will uh, start uh, with uh, pouring water to this tube. First, I will add 40% uh, of water. So this pressure, with amount of water, you can control as well pressure. So this pressure will a little bit stronger, so water will go through faster. And after the last 40% uh, of water, I will go slower, so I will add always 20%. Leave go through, 
another one twenty percent and leave go through. Uh, maybe you will find a little bit uh, different method, or you will um, improve, or you do something different. But I found for myself this one I had the best result. What I forgot to say, I will use uh, I will now 16 grams of uh, coffee grains and I will uh, put up 250 grams of water. of water divided uh, uh, divide on uh, three parts, so 40, 20 and 20. With more water, you speed as well this uh, flow. Um, uh, with less water, just uh, it's going a little bit slower. So you can play a lot with this uh, pressure, and with more water, we will adding one moment. but it's up to 50 grams. This coffee bed it looks like this. And how I told a bit uh, lies of paper filters, you can play how uh, fast it's going as well. You can um, uh, play with uh, pressure of water. So if you want, you can do even slow drip and do this brewing maybe for a couple minutes. And uh, on the end, you will have more kind of like syrupy, more heavier body coffee. 
So thanks a bit, very much for watching this video. I hope that you like it and uh, see you soon.